Hello friends, I hope you're well. So in this video we're going to be launching a token on the open network which is TON and it's Telegram's own chain. We're going to be minting our token, creating our token and then we're going to be adding liquidity and we're going to start trading it. So TON is a very slow, it can be slow at times when you actually deploy. So you have to be patient, sometimes you get stuck in certain places but this is the minting website. We're also going to use the DEX We've got our charting tools here and we've also got, I recommend, the Open Mask Wallet. We've got some ton in there, a uh, very small amount, and we've got somewhere to upload our images as well. I've minted a token just in case we get stuck called Cakecoin and we're going to mint one now just for demonstration purposes. So what you want to do first is upload your logo. So let's go on to Image BB and we can upload this one. And what we're going to do is just copy that into our Minter as the address. Sometimes it messes up. You can change the format of the image and the size is wrong. But for demonstration purposes, it's very simple to change. You just log back into this uh, after you've connected your wallet. So let's call this dog, dog coin. Let's call it dog. And we want to mint 1 million. Well, let's go with 2 million tokens for now. And then we've got our description, the only dog coin on ton you need. There we go. And once that's done, what we're going to do, it says your logo is broken. But again, we're going to change that later on. I'm just rushing through this so you know what exactly what to do. Now, this is going to create your token, give you your contract address. And also, it's going to show you uh, other tokens that you've had. Yeah, or, or minted in the past. So this is your transaction going through. Ton takes probably about 20 seconds maximum uh, to actually go through. That's loading up. Once it goes through, we're going to have a function to revoke our contract. You can also mint more tokens if you want to airdrop or you need supply for later on. You can do that as well. I would recommend obviously revoking the contract as soon as possible. I've got no idea why that failed, but let's try again. And yeah, once you've done that, you can go through everything from there. But anyway, this this will be, if this fails, we can just jump over to this token on here. But it hasn't failed. Again, that could be just down to validators or whatever. So we've got our token here. So if we want to edit our token, like I said before, you can change your logo uh, from here as well. But or your meta descriptions, whatever. After you revoke, you can't change anything. So revoke ownership means you won't be able to mint you won't be able to change the name whatever yeah so this is our wallet this is our contract address here so we can open it up here and just copy that so save that and also let's add it to our wallet there's our tokens obviously our logo didn't work um, but we've got our dog and I, I minted this one earlier just in case we get stuck uh, with that. So we've got our contract address. Now we want to provide liquidity. There's nothing really more to do. You might want to mint or burn, etc. But that's totally up to you. Your preference is very easy. You can just transfer wallet to wallet uh, from there. So we want to go to Stonefire, which is the DEX. It's an AMA DEX. Uh, it's an automated market maker. So it finds you the best prices. So we want to add liquidity now. So pools, add liquidity. And now we want to go here and we want to agree. So we want to add all of our tokens and we want to add 10, which is only $50. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to add it. I find it can take a while to add the liquidity. So you must uh, be from there patient. So send in one. Did I put one or 10? Let's go back 10. Yeah. And let's add that in from there. Now, TUN is open trading as soon as you add liquidity. And it's not the case of, oh, you have to, you know, uh, put trading on or anything like that. It's not like an EVM. It's more similar to Solana. Once that's live, we should be able to trade it. And we're going to do exactly that as well. Again, save your contract address here. Which is the most important thing. Again, this takes a while to actually go through. We probably can't find it on here as we haven't had any trades as yet and there's no liquidity. So again, it takes a while. 
things can take some time again for the demonstration of this video we've got that but that's pretty much your token launch but we're going to try and hopefully it goes through and then we can start trading uh, I should have really added liquidity uh, before but in a nutshell this is your token deployed done once you've launched I would recommend obviously everything that checks out revoke your ownership of the contract once you've fixed up the logos like I haven't done uh, on that fingers crossed this goes through um, but pretty much sometimes it's a bit problematic it, I've sat here for like two three minutes before and it hasn't really gone through so fingers crossed for this video you'll know what to do but that's it for the video in terms of everything you'd obviously put your contract address here I'm wondering if it goes through and then we can see if any bots buy or anything like that let's have a look so no nothing's come from the wallet or the dog anyway you get the idea but that's pretty much how to launch on ton and <laughs> without making this video too long hey it looks like it's doing something got it your transaction was created perfectly but <laughs> for some reason I've already got it's only taken a little bit of the the, the dog uh, which is weird I don't know why it's done that but anyway let's try and let's try and buy now uh, the token itself no, it's saying it can't find it. See, this dex is very problematic. Let's go with dog. Maybe let's refresh it. And maybe change our wallets. And let's disconnect this one, and then we'll connect another one. Because we're going to buy from another one uh, on that. And again, we want to find our token address and let's try to do some trades yeah, let's go with 0 0.1 pricing back 2 pi of course it will be let's put some zeros <laughs> so the liquidity somehow got messed up I don't know why but we can see from here the token will be tradable bit of a messy video but you get the idea again I'm certainly not a fan of this DEX I find it very clunky very slow I mean trying to buy a transaction I would probably use a trading bot something like that but again this is the video everything's gonna go through as long as this transaction goes through I don't know if the DEX is clogged or clogged or whatever but some transactions gone through I've spent something um, but I'm not sure let's look on the block explorer might be easier to see so no transactions there's a value gone out I'm guessing that's the router of the DEX and again good luck <laughs> with launching and deploying but it seems to have it takes time you have to kind of just be patient with it it's not one that's very very quick uh, with it again nothing showed up it's probably because it's low liquidity but you get the idea have a play of it and hopefully have better luck than I did all the best take care